Can you still see it or can you not see it's it? Kind of, it's kind of, it's all right. You're good? Yeah. All right. So, um, so <laughs> not, not really. <laughs> so our application is Poyo. So the idea behind Poyo is, can you open that? Thanks. So Poyo is a location-based anonymous polling application. What it does is um, it allows for uh, people in a region to be able to pull out their phones and get instant feedback from the community around them. So uh, what the use case that um, really sparked this idea was having it so that we would be able to be in classrooms such as this and be like, hey, what's your favorite color? Or during a meeting, what shirt size does everybody need? So that allows for an immediate polling. So what we do is we check the region, figure out what polls are in the region. We also have a private polling feature that allows us to distribute, um, to have private polling for only people in the room. How do we do this? Very, very simple, it's just word of mouth. What we have is the private polling feature, which all you need is a distribution key, which is the, uh, the key that's specific to that category of polls. So you can have multiple polls under the categories, and then you also have a username, uh, which is the person who posts the poll. And how you distribute that is just being like, hey, put in this username, put in this distribution key, and then you have the polls. So, should we set it down? Yeah. All right, see so you in this plugin. All right. So with Boyo, uh, what we wanted to do is we wanted to make an interface that wasn't easy, like you wouldn't quickly be going through, but rather that you would be able to take your time going through and be selective of which polls that you're doing. Rather than having mass consumption of many polls, we wanted it to be uh, selective. So our application, we have this main phone screen, which includes um, all of the current POYOs in our location. We take the radius of the current user, and then we save where they've been in order to figure out what the poll, POYO is. And then uh, right here, we can uh, open up the poll. And then so the, each of the polls have a, um, what is this one of them? Uh, we, have, uh, we have two of the options, and then what you can do is you can select one of the options and then the votes. So one really cool thing about this app is we wanted it to be a very friendly feature, um, similar to our icon, and we have random colors uh, that we have from the color palette. So if I keep going through and selecting them, they're going to generate random colors that match with um, the uh, images. And so I can go into the comment section, Let's see, it's in black, there we go. And so I can go into the comments section and I can actually see where all of the um, answers have been recently. So this one just has the one current location right here because, uh, well, I just uh, answered the question there, but after many people have answered, it'll show a map of all the people who have answered. And also for the comments section, we uh, derived from uh, Yik Yak style having anonymous characters in order to identify because we are a pseudo-anonymous application. So I'm gonna say, wow, this app is awesome. <coughs> and then I'm going to post that, it's going to give me an anonymous animal, which um, the blue correlates actually with the choice that I've had. So if I actually change this into gold, it will actually go back to the app, and now the um, icon has changed. So it um, allows for easy feedback on what everyone's opinions are, so as I continue posting, I'll be able to say something else, and it'll continuously have my own character. That was a very fun feature to add. Kind of cool. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm also going to Compose a FOIA. So, what do you want me to ask? Anyone? Dot notes or pop notes? Perfect. All right, so, oops. So, um, this feature we also added something so that it auto uh, fills in the <coughs> question so you don't have to fill in every time. So, Dot notes or pop notes? So, I'm going to take a picture of the Dot notes over there and send that. And then I'm going to take a picture of Kevin for Papa John's. <laughs> and then from there, I can also um, go into my settings, and I can also make it a private poll. So I'm setting my distribution key slash password here. Or I can uh, set my end time. So this is when the poll will die. We naturally have the poll ending after 21 hours, because that is the incubation period of a big chick. So I'm going to set it for Sunday. And I'm going to go back, and I'm going to post the poll. Close the poll, and then, 
And there we go. Dominoes are popping tons. Also, the sorting that we have on this application is actually based on Reddit's hotness algorithm. So we take the um, amount of people that voted. We basically take upvotes and downvotes for each of the um, polls, and then we sort them accordingly based on time as well as their hotness. So that is the basic application of uh, Poyo. Um, what we wanted with Poyo is Oh, all right, and it looks like our time is up. So we're going to go on to the Q and A with the judges. How did you uh, set it up so that different users can see everyone's results in real time? Um, did you like server or something? Okay, it seems so our server actually is backed up. So yeah. Do you have any other questions? Is there is there like a, a additional component with this for measuring like somebody looking at the results? Mm -hmm. So we actually do have the uh, user profile. It's not currently working right now. But, uh, we do have the user profile that goes through all of the um, POYOs that you currently have up, as well as the past POYOs, and you're able to close the POYOs uh, from that view. Right. I think that's fine. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much.